Eko de de asikoi. Hello everyone, welcome to ispeakyorubatu.com. This is your one-stop place for everything Yoruba language. Thank you for learning Yoruba language with I Speak Yoruba Too. Eka boyi Welcome everyone. My name is Eniola and you're listening to I Speak Yoruba Too. Today's lesson is a very important one, like very important, and you'll find out the reason real soon. In the previous lesson, you learned how to say that you're good or bad at doing something, and we look at four different expressions. One of those expressions is mo, which is to know. Did you remember the rule you need to use the word mo when saying that you're good or bad at doing something? Well, the rule is that you have to use mo with the noun form of a verb. I introduced you a little bit to making nouns from verbs in Yoruba. In this lesson, you will learn more about how to make verbs into nouns or adjectives in Yoruba. The use of derivative nouns or adjectives are very common in daily Yoruba conversations. That is why it is very important that you know how to change a word from its verb form into a noun or adjective. If you can do this, like it will be of great benefit to you because it will help you to improve your Yoruba knowledge and skills a whole lot. So, any yummy, we feke teti sile da da si ekoi, because to some of you, ekoi le le die funi might just be a little bit difficult for some of you. But if you are the type of person that really enjoys the breaking down of words to see how they came about. You enjoy grammar, then you will really like this. <laughs> but for everybody else, Emma Beru, okay? Don't be scared. Trust me, you will enjoy it as well. Share it, bro. Okay, Yomi, let's get into it. Changing a verb into a noun in Yoruba works a little bit like prefix in English. So take, for instance, the word happy becoming unhappy. On is added to the beginning of the word happy to make it unhappy. Something similar is done in Yoruba. All right, let's look at our first example. The first verb we look at is sun. Sun. Sun is a verb that means to sleep. To change sun into a noun or an adjective we need to add a prefix. But where does the prefix come from? <laughs> Unlike English, Yoruba does not have a set of ready to use prefixes. Unfortunately, you will have to derive them yourself in relation to the verb being used. It's not difficult at all. All you need to derive a prefix is this simple rule. You will add the letter E. This is a Yoruba alphabet, not English. So, you will add the letter E to the first letter of the verb you want to change into a noun or adjective. Let's look at our sample verb. Sun. Sun is spelled si u ni sun. I want to believe that by now you all know the Yoruba alphabet, don't you? Please tell me you do. But just in case some of you don't, please watch lessons 1 to 3 on I Speak Yoruba 2 YouTube channel. The link is in the show details. Okay? So, sun is spelled C U ni. The first letter of the verb sun is C. Now, we will add the letter E to it and we will have C, C, that is C and E gives us C and that's our prefix. 
we will now add our derived prefix to the verb soon, okay? And it will give us the word si soon. Si soon. Si soon. Easy, isn't it? <laughs> I understand that it might seem difficult, but it's not. Orongoni oda ejeka wa won apere mi si. Okay, let's look at some more construction example and then look at their meanings and uses afterwards. All right, let's look at the verb ra. Ra means to buy. If I added the derived prefix to ra, it will become ri ra. Ri Ra. How did I come about that? It's simple. I took the first alphabet of the verb ra, which is letter ri, and I added the letter e to it to make the prefix ri. Then I added the prefix ri to ra, and it becomes ri ra. Ri ra. Ri ra. Sherry pe kuli ra ra ra. Can you see it's not difficult at all? Ejeka wo akwere mi. Sun. Sun. Sun is a verb that means to roast or to burn. Sun restructured will become si sun. Si sun. Because the first alphabet of sun is si. Added to the letter e, it becomes si. Then added to soon, it becomes si soon. Si soon. Do you understand it a bit better now? All you need to remember is how to make the prefix, which is the first alphabet of any verb you want to change, together with letter e. Okay? <laughs> so now I'm just gonna tell you the verbs and its restructured form. All right? Okay. Re. Re means to see. Restructured form is re re. Re re. Lo. Lo means to go. Restructured form is li lo. Li lo. Je. J means to eat. Restructured form is G J. G J. She. She means to do. Restructured form is she she. She she. Se. Se means to cook. Restructured form is si se. Si se. Wo. Wo means to watch. Restructured form is we wo. We wo. Nu. Nu means to clean. And the restructured form is ni nu. Ni nu. Okay, so we have looked at some verbs and their restructured form. And these restructured forms are si su, ri ra. Si sun, ri ri, li lo, ji je, shi she, si si, wi wo, and ni nu. Okay, what do they mean and how are they used? Words derived like this through the use of creating these prefixes can have three distinct meanings when used in different settings. One. They could mean the thing you do or the act of doing something. For example, I like eating, I like sleeping, or I like cooking. Two, it can mean the thing you do now. Not the thing you're doing right now, but kind of like a change in something. So you do something before, but you do this now. If you're asked, oh, what do you do now? You could say, I cook now. Kind of like a change in job. It can mean that. Three, they are also used as adjectives to modify nouns. It can also mean the fact that you're doing something, the fact that you do something. All right? Let's see how this word we restructured are used in different settings. 
Sisun. Sisun can mean sleeping, as in what you do or what has been done or the act of sleeping. But mostly, it is used as an adjective to modify the noun oru. Oru means sleep, but it's a noun, not a verb. Ororu sisun ni wonso. Ororu sisun ni wonso. Ororu sisun ni wonso. They are discussing about sleep. Ororu sisun ni moferonju. Ororu sisun ni moferonju. Ororu sisun ni moferonju. Sleeping is my hobby. Sleeping is what I like to do. Ono sisun ni moferonju. Rira. Rira means buying or the act of buying. Ojokwe ma ko jarira o. Ojokwe ma ko o jarira o. Ojokwe ma ko jarira o. It seems I will learn the act of buying things. In korira o mwami lara. In korira o mwami lara. In korira o mwami lara. I'm not used to buying things. Si sun. Si sun means roasted or the act of roasting. Mora agbado si sun. Mora agbado si sun. Mora agbado si sun. I bought roasted corn. Agbado si sun leo. Agbado si sun leo. Agbado si sun leo. Roasting corn is difficult. Riri. Riri means seeing or the act of seeing. Riri ya agba ma amunu mi dungan. Riri ya agba ma amunu mi dungan. Riri ya agba ma amunu mi dungan. Seeing grandma always make me happy. Lilo. Lilo means the act of going or going. Oko lilo gbagbara. Oko lilo gbagbara. Oko lilo gbagbara. Going to the farm requires energy. Jije. Jije means eating something edible or the act of eating. Kosin konji je kokonile. Kosi in konji je kokon nile. Kosi in konji je kokon nile. There is nothing edible at home. She she. She she means doing or the act of doing. She she a wen she she pataki gong. She she a wen she she pataki gong. She she a wen she she pataki gong. Doing these jobs are very important. Si si. Si si. Si se means cooked, cooking, boil or the act of cooking. A je ishu si se. A je ishu si se. A je ishu si se. We ate boiled yam. Okay, anye yomi. We have just two more sample sentences to go. Che tigbo. We wo. We wo means watching or the act of watching. Ko si fi mu we wo le ni o. Ko si fi mu we wo le ni o. Ko si fi mu we wo le ni o. There is no watching movie today. And the last sample sentence for today is with the word ni nu. Ni nu. Ni nu means cleaning or the act of cleaning. Ni nu ni mo nu le la ta aro. Ninu ni mo unu ile la taro. Ninu ni mo unu ile la taro. House cleaning is what I've been doing all day. Is that what you've been doing? <laughs> Odai yomi. This is just one of many different word restructured patterns used in Yoruba language. You will learn more patterns in future lessons. Shetibdo. Let me use this opportunity to ask you guys. Share a fair record, Yoruba, kiko me.
<laughs> do let me know. A reju bai lo lori e koi mari like And that's it from Enyala today. See you all again soon. Odabo.